Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this here channel. And a big welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for stopping in. Well, it finally quit raining. For a couple of days there, it was fitting her man or beast. But, things are clearing up around here, so what are we going to be doing in this here vid? Well, the first thing I got to do, that guy. So I'm going to do a quick oil change, spark plug change, lower gear oil change, oil filter change and change and change and stuff like that. So we're going to get on those right there behind me and get them all wrapped up. And uh, then I think I'm going to have to get back on that little seven and a half Johnny. Get that Cabo Reaper all cleaned up and so forth and uh, that's the next step on that one. Maybe dig into them lower units a little bit on it and see what I'm going to do with them and how hard they are going to be to get apart and yada yada. And then, hopefully, I'll have time to get back on the mystery motor. That's right. I hope to at least do a compression check, spark check, maybe that some of that kind of stuff on that mystery motor. Because I ain't going to let you see what it is till I know it's going to run. Or something like that. But anyway, that's kind of the plan. But uh, as always, you never know what's going to show up at this little shop. But that's the direction we're going to head in. So, let's get going. Just oil. I don't see no water, so that's good. The little kicker was the same way. Mostly just gear oil, no water. That's a good thing. Let her drain, let her drain. 
Better drink. Put some freshy freshy in there. See the hole there? See the bird come out the hole? Well, there's the front of the cobby. You can see it's all caked with yummy. And there's the back, all caked with more yummy. Yeah, and then you can see down in the throat, bunch of yummy. So, what are we inside is the question. So, let's see where you're at. Yeah. So let's open her up real quick. Let's see what the old inside looks like. Yeah, let's see what the old innards of the carburetor look like. And hope they better than the outside of the old carburetor. I don't think it's ever been off here because the little model plate, uh oh, I just saw, uh oh, I saw things coming out of there. Ooh. Ooh. One, two. Buckle my three, four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's looking bleak. It's looking on the bleak. Little rust in there, little dust in there, but I don't know how well she'll clean up. There's the E-clip, it's in there. If I can get that pin, I don't know. If you guys can see that, sorry about the motorcycle in the back. Look at there. That gun float still works. So I'm gonna go inside clean this up with my fine wire wheel, my fine wire bench wheel. And we'll get back and see what it looks like after that. I'll be back. Okay, I got my little flat-headed nail, like so. And my little mini vice grips and then I ground the tip off of that nail so it's flat and I clean this up a little bit just enough so I could see what I'm dealing with as far as the hinge pin on the float goes and it's the plastic ones I do believe it looks like it and now I'm going to take this and we are going to see if this works By taking this and getting it lined up with that and hopefully the fact that I ground it flat won't mushroom and then my little teeny dumpster found tappet hammer uh, in the end oh come on you come on 
I can get it out without destroying it. So we'll put that right there. And look at there, here comes the float and the needle. And surprisingly, still pretty good shape. So I'm going to get the rest of this all out of here if I can. I'm going to show you something. I'll be right back. Now, what I did on the uh, little seven and a half carburetor, I chewed that seat from the carburetor. I chewed it all to pieces, getting it out of there with them van pliers. So I got me a, a nice new one and put in there, and a nice needle with a brand new E clip. And we're going to put that in there. And then I gotta find there it is. The little plasticky inch pin. And I'm totally okay reusing this cork float. I probably got a plastic one in there somewhere, but there's nothing wrong with this one. It looks very good, very clean, no stains, all the they used them for years, so. So she's looking pretty good. Maybe push it down a little there. Let me get my little things. I'm going to adjust this by pulling this tab out toward me. There we go. Okay. Looking pretty good there. Looking pretty good there. So, get the gasket. And I'm going to get this carburetor back together. But yeah, we got a new needle and seat on there. Okay, we're on the bottom cylinder. Zero. We are on the zero. Let's see what we get. We get one. 25 about 131 132 that's 120 25 30 30 oh wait a minute 120 25 30 35 about 136 on the bottom We are zero. Let's see what we get. What do we get on the top? On the top, we get 120, 25, 30, 35, about 140, about probably 139. She got good compressionus, you understand us. Don't know if they're original because I don't know what goes in this thing. But it had Champion L78Cs in there. Champion L78Cs is what was in it. So that's what's going back in it. So I can find out something different anyway. Ah. Oh. 
Now I'm gonna give you another little hint on what this mystery motor is. This is the recoil start on it. See how rusty that cord is? It's orange. But if you've ever worked on a Honda three-wheeler, then you'll be very familiar with this type of recoil. Um, I've never really seen it on an outboard before. But this one has it. So I've got to take the line off here, but you see the little dogs? One, two, three. See those little dogs? And if I took these little vice grips off and let it in, well, I can do that. You can see how it works. Watch the little dog paws here. See how they keep just... That basically is a Honda three-wheeler recoil set. You understand? So, I've got to get this line out of here because it's roached and then I need to clean it. The spring feels really good on it. But, uh, so I've got to get this line out of here. And and then clean this up with a wire wheel. And, uh, Put a new line in it, and I'll give it a little bit of, little bit of geese. So, this old line is coming out of there. I'm gonna go in there with my little wire wheel and clean that up. I'll be right back. Okay, got me some new cord. I cleaned everything up. Don't that look a lot better? You get all that old yuckums off of there. I did the top two, knocked all that off so I can hit it with some paint. Uh -uh. But I'm gonna put some in there. Put some all up in that. All over in there and there. Little geese. Yeah, just a little bit. It don't hurt nothing, you know. You know. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know. So. Uh, get some. See if I can get some in that crap. My little brush. Okay. Then we got some new cords. <clears throat> that we got to try and get in there. Can we do it? Let's see, am I doing that right? Am I doing that right? I think I am, I think I am. Well, I'm doing it the way they had it, anyway. I can't say it's gonna be right. But it's gonna be like they had it. Tap, 
That's a little overhandy knotty. I'll have to go get something. Ain't got my things. You know, you know. But I'll have them in a minute. I'm using the same size quartage they had, so I'm guessing it's going to be all right. I'm hoping it's going to be all right. If I can get that big old fat knot down in there. End pointing down, you know. Uh oh. Uh oh. It may not work. Well, you know, the intent was there. Whoa. Now we better pull on this knot too. See them? It's like an old Honda three wheeler. And I'll hit it with some paint right up on the top there, maybe a little primer first. My rag has seen better days, you understand. I had them other pliers right there all along. I'll be right back. I better make me a little mark, a little scribe, or three, so I know where this little plate goes. There's a little plate here that goes, come on, like that. See, I got a little tray over here. Can you see my little tray over there? I don't know if you can. I got a little tray. Little white powdery on there. Now you say you you had to make that little mark. Cuz I'm not that familiar with this because it's a mystery it's a mystery oh look at there it got some boogers in there see them boogers there's boogers in there Achoo! in the back very way back back in here there's some nasty bookers. What is it? What is it? Looks like there's some water in there. I don't think that's gasoline. Petroleonis, you understand us? 
anyway. Um, yeah, I got some boogers right there, too. The bugs. We're gonna have to clean all that up. But she's adjusted dice. Look at that float. Yeah, so I think first thing I'm gonna do is just squirt it. Some soap them. And then we can clean some of them buggers. It does not have an E-clip, an ethanol clip in there. So you know she's an oldie but goodie. Man, this, I think this carburetor, would even with the buggers in there, would have ran pretty good. Of course, we'll pull everything. There's some some rust. We'll get it all. Let it soak for a little bit. This is just what they call the preliminary cleaning. Oh, sure. Yeah. This is about the worst cleaning brush I think I ever bought. I don't know where I bought this thing. I mean, a Peruvian kitty cat has stiffer fur than this. This thing's useless. Useless. Let me get a real brush. Call that a parts cleaning brush. Be something you put on mascara with. Just nuts. See that skeeter? See him? Got a skeeter. All right. Now, let's get some scrubbing action going. There. Hey. Who the funk? Who the funk? Make a brush that'll actually do something. Why not? Well, if I never, ever need to clean some baby powder, I'll use that. I think baby powder's illegal anymore, ain't it? All right. Now I should be able to get that float off of there. I can see the little pin. I put some soap in there. Go my gasket. That's all right. That's all right. Cause I'm gonna clean this thing all up good. But this is just a a pre booger removal. You've got to do the pre booger removal. Oh, you don't got to. Let everything soak. There you go. Well, I got that old carburetor all taken apart. It's in the ultrasonic cleaner. Getting a bath. It's in there getting a bath. Needed a bath. Had the buggers in it. So, I got that Copper Reaper getting clean. I've got the compression check done. Um, I still got to do a spark check. I forgot to do that. I do it. But we got the uh, recoil starter all looking painted pretty. All pieced up new cord so 
we're moving right along and uh, it's getting a little bit long so I'm going to stop this one right here but hey I even wrote down the name of the motor you want to see the name of the motor there it is it's your motor ah, ah. but that's the that's the innards of the cobble repo in the little bag this is mystery motor so we're moving right along with it I still got to get that Suzuki uh, four stroker put back together I got it all painted up and pretty and ready to go I still got to put oil in it and get it all done up ain't decided whether I'm gonna sell it or not but that's gonna do it for this one as always that's one more hack from Cody Allen. thanks for watching Please like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.